this visit is with Nick, and he used to have muscle wasting and chronic uh, joint pain, muscle pain. He was wheelchair bound, and he and it was caused by the mold in his parents' house. He's better now. And the last time we talked was in uh, a few months ago, but he used to be a patient up until 2019. And that's when he did really good. He stopped coming to see me, but then he realized he had a few more things he's got to take care of for his health. So we started talking again a few months ago. So um, the purpose of these patient visit videos is to show you that when it comes to chronic illness, supplements and diet are superior to drugs. And drugs cause, they all cause side effects and they're really good though for emergencies and for like if you need a surgery, take some drugs. But when it comes to chronic illness, it's something that you've had for year after year after year, after year um, it's best to go with nutrition to fix that kind of stuff up. Now these visits are actual patient visits. They pay me my regular fee. I'm not paying them or giving them any special favors to be on video. And the point of me even doing this is to show you the trials and tribulations of going through a health improvement program. It's not always easy and people have their ups and downs, but in the end there's, you know, there's improvement and you can see week after week or month after month, some kind of improvement. And so, um, I hope you enjoy this one. Awesome. Thanks for doing this. This is great. No problem. Yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah. so let me, let me okay. just, let me just jump in and say, um, so I'll post this on YouTube at any point. Now or in the future, if you want it down, I'll just take it down. Even okay. You no, know, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I've even been kind of uh, doing more of a, a daily kind of update thing as uh, on my channel too. So I've been kind of just keeping my progress, you know, just talking about that on little shorts and stuff as well. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Um, let's see here. So I'm looking at the file. Um, I have a window open. Can you hear that plane? Should I close it? No, I can't hear it. All right, cool. cool, cool. All right. Okay. All right, so let's do, let's catch up here. So last time we talked, we emailed March 30th. We uh, we talked March 8th. Um, so, so just as a recap, like in 2019, you were doing really good. Yeah. You gained 35 so, pounds, started exercising, but then you got sick again, right? Yeah. I uh I did have a couple stressful events happen and I've I'm noticing that I do feel like stress is a huge culprit. That the the more things I go through personally, I feel like the symptoms do get worse. And uh I do feel like that's something I also have to like hone in on and get my, my stress levels in check. Okay. So just to recap on the symptoms, muscle pain, joint pain, autoimmune symptoms. Yeah. Okay. So since March, how are you now overall? Are you better, worse, or the same? Um, I've, I feel a little bit better than what I was. When I started taking the biotoxin binder and some of the other supplements, I definitely noticed an increase in my symptoms. And I started, uh, felt like I was definitely on the right direction because it was like the symptoms I already had were kind of, I was just noticing them a little bit more, some of the muscle pain and stuff. And yeah. then um, I do feel like every time I would go into the sauna, they would get, they would be, become more pronounced. Like I do feel like it was mobilizing something. Like it, it did feel like it was working, yeah. um, which then I started toning it down because then I started like kind of feeling like pain with everyday things. So it kind of started scaring me a little bit. Um but now I'm just kind of taking one every couple of days, like just the binder. I haven't taken all the, uh, the other, uh, the supplements as well that the lymphatic support and, um, I had, I feel wait, like I have to wait, slowly wait. get back. Yeah, yeah. Wait, let's back up on that. So you said that you're taking less biotoxin binder, like one every couple of days. Yeah. But then you, but then you're not taking the support products as much either. No, not, not as much right now. I've, uh, I kind of slowed down. I sent you the email and then, um, uh, I, I got a reply back. I don't know if it was you or uh, one of your associates that were just like, yeah, when you start feeling better then slowly, maybe one every other day, if, cause at first we were doing two a day, um, one in the morning, one at night, uh, or like one with breakfast, one with dinner. And, um, so I just kind of slowed them down a little bit and I'm like working myself back into the sauna and uh, stuff like that. But, um, okay. So wait, so with the KL support, 
kidney mm -hmm. liver support, Tudka for the liver, lymphactive for lymphatic system. So that's all yeah. to help the biotoxin binder work easily more with less symptoms. So if you take those other three, do you get any symptoms from those without the biotoxin wow. binder? I haven't done it like that. So you should I be only able to took them all together. Okay. So you should you should be able to take those first three I mentioned with no symptoms, no no problems whatsoever. Okay. Because they're making the drainage occur better. Lymphatic, liver, kidney. Gotcha. Right? And then the biotoxin binder every other day, for example, and then work your way back up with the biotoxin binder to two pills per day. I see what you're saying. So take the other support ones, continue to take those every day, or like I was, and then the biotoxin binder, that one's once every other day. Right. Doesn't. So those other gotcha. three, back to this thing, those mm -hmm. other three are, those are step three, that's drainage. And then the gotcha. biotoxin binder, it kind of covers everything, but, you know, mostly like step six. Mm -hmm. So, so the, the steps that you take here are easier in preparation for the later steps. So got that? Is that cool? Gotcha. Yeah, you no, that, that makes okay? sense. You can see that okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. All right. All right, good. So um, what else to ask about this? So overall, since March, I mean, knowing that you're detoxing, you're having some reactions, do you still, when you look back, do you still like see that you're feeling better with your joints and muscles and stuff? I would say compared to where I was, yeah, for sure. Um, I still kind of have a little bit of like aches and pains, but like compared to where I was, because I contacted you in 2019 when I started feeling like way better from where I was. So compared to then, I'm still a million times better than I was at my lowest point. Um, I just feel like it's still these little nagging like, it pains that I get when I go to the gym. Like if I don't go to the gym, I feel fine, honestly. Like maybe my body can't take it right now. I don't know if it's the stress and like my body's just trying to focus on the mold and the, you know, the toxins as opposed to me going and then trying to break down muscle tissue and trying to, you know, kind of burn the candle at both ends. Um, but yeah, like I, I do feel like it is making a difference as far as uh, like I, I have been feeling better. Um, I don't think I'm quite you know, where I want to be yet, but. Okay. And then throughout your environment and the buildings you go into, there's no mold, right? I still, I still am exposed to the mold every once in a while. Cause my, my parents still live there. So I I'm there minimally as minimally as I can be, but uh, kind of like maybe for 20, 30 minutes at a time, a couple of times a week. Um, but my parents are focusing on moving. So within the next couple of months, they should be gone. Okay. When you go into that building, do you feel it? Like, do you have some symptoms come back? Uh, yeah, I notice if I spend a decent amount of time there, I'll just feel like pain in my knee. Like I, I feel like my left knee in particular, I'll just start. And then recently, like uh, when the sun is out, I feel great. <laughs> when it's raining, I feel terrible. And like, uh, it, it's funny because I, I, with it, people who have experienced mold get it, but most of my coworkers, they're like, what are you talking about? Like it, you know, like for them, it's like, it's just raining, you know, like, um, but anyone who's experienced mold, I've watched the, the last patient in your previous video and she had similar things too. It sounded similar symptoms that I'm dealing with. Right. So there's a product, Mycotox, that can help with symptoms. Um, it's homeopathic. And if you're interested, I can put it on the list, but this is something that you can do um, maybe before and like before and after the gym. So these nagging pains that you mm -hmm. get at the gym. So yeah. I really, I relied on Mycotox quite a bit in uh, 2017 to help bring down my pulse. And I have a record of that, you know, um, so Mycotox, are you, are you interested in that one? Yeah, I would definitely be, yeah. Yeah, to help you deal with the symptoms of mold. That's where I had sent an email too about like taking them. Like we did a, a blood test a few years ago, but I mean, I haven't really done any like getting a baseline as far as like where I'm at, as far as a mycotoxin test. Or I didn't know if you, what your thoughts on that were, if I should just continue with the binder, um, what you think. So regarding testing, if you want to do it, 
I mean, I would recommend it. And that's what I did about once a year. I would do the urine test. Mm-hmm. And um, so <clears throat> the company that I like to use is called Vibrant America. And they test like over 30 mycotoxins. And um, so they can, I can set it up that you can buy just the mycotoxin test alone. And I don't remember mm-hmm. what the price is. It's like, let's say it's like 300 something dollars. But they also have um, a chemical test and a metals test that they come as a package. And um, if you've never taken a, like a chemicals or metals test, then that'd be a good idea too. at least get a baseline for yeah, that. Yeah. Because, because of the three things, the heavy metals is like the least important, to be honest, although there's a lot of attention on that. And then, But the chemicals are like the most important and the mycotoxins mm-hmm. are the metal. So a lot of people have a ton of chemicals. And, but they, you know, it, it all comes out with the biotoxin binder and the carboxy. I was thinking that too, when I was uh, on the biotoxin binders and taking the other supplements that I was like, this could be addressing things that I don't even know is there. Like, because I, I, I mean, mold is something that I've, I've had the test, but I mean, I, I could have other exposures that I'm not really aware of just from not testing. So I even kind of thought about that. Like, I, I wouldn't know if it was like, like metals that you're saying, or glyphosate or something like that. Yeah. So here's what I'll do. I'm going to email you later, probably today. And I'll, I'll give you the pricing for just the single, like the mycotoxins test. Uh-huh. And then uh, compare that with the, the the package of all of them. And you can yeah. decide which one you want to do. I, I will say too, for any other uh, listeners, like when I first started taking the biotoxin binder, I thought it was going to make my digestion. Like I was going to be run into the bathroom, but I didn't really have any uh, negative digestive symptoms at all. Like it didn't really mess up uh, anything like any bowel movements or even using the washroom like uh, like I had no issues so um, I think that's something that to ease people's mind a little bit I remember going on reddit and I saw some people like how how was it you know are you running to the bathroom or you know and I was like no it was actually not but I definitely noticed a little bit of an increase in the symptoms I had which made I mean it made sense but then I was also like I guess I kind of like scared myself out of it. And then I got to like slowly kind of inch back into it. Right, exactly. Yeah, and then at some point you should be able to take like a lot of carboxy all at once and have no symptoms whatsoever. Mm-hmm. But- yeah, I remember in one of the videos you had mentioned that this stuff doesn't have side effects. So the side effects you do get are your your body getting rid of it. That's what my mom had said too, because I noticed right after a sauna session, I, I might've overdid it on the sauna a little bit. It was a dry sauna and I was in there for like 20 minutes and I went out, took a couple minute break and I went back in and um, I, I feel like I started noticing a little bit in my chest and I've had it a briefly, like a little bit, but it, it did feel like I, and my mom was like, it's probably, it's probably moving around. Like all the mold is probably moving through the, through your system right now. So yeah, it sucks when it goes into the body. It sucks when it's in the body, and it sucks when it leaves the body. There's no yeah. vacation when you got mold going in or out or whatever. So you're really yeah, I, I, go ahead. No, go ahead. Yeah, it, it's just uh, it's the the idea of like it's it's a little bit like a scary thing of when you when you like really want to feel better, but sometimes you do feel a little bit worse. Sometimes there is a hump before you feel better. And um, I think anyone that's experienced a chronic illness knows that that it's it's unfortunate. But I I know like, I mean there's side effects with every drug. I mean you go do chemo radiation you're gonna have you're gonna feel a pretty bad too. So yeah. So your original uh, diagnosis you had muscle wasting. Um, you were disabled, right? Yeah, I, I was completely not working for over two years, and it was uh, yeah I I could barely get up a flight of stairs make. A, a long walk through Walmart. I was in the scooters. I was, uh, I, I had a wheelchair for getting pushed around at the mall. I didn't need it all the time, but I mean, now I've, I am exercising. So, I mean, I've, I've made a, some people at the gym have looked at me and they're like, dude, I remember when you first came in here, like you couldn't walk, like it's, you should tell everyone this story. And, uh, so I know I've made a, a big comeback. I just feel like I want to like get rid of it once and for all. I want to, yeah. So the bottom of it. You also had uh, sight and sound sensitivity. How's that now? Yeah, much better. Like that, that has gotten a lot better too. Yeah. So I feel like my only issues right now is the muscle pain. Like I just feel like I go, when I really exert myself and I go to the gym, 
I'm like sensitive, like I'll pull a muscle and I won't notice it until like the next day. And then like the next day, it'll be just like, I, I've had a rotator cuff injury in the past and like, I'll just, it'll, it'll just start nagging like the next day once the inflammation sets in, but I'll, I'll feel fine after the gym. Then as I'm healing, it'll just start noticing these, like my Achilles will start hurting or like. So yeah. I don't know if you know the story, but so I, <clears throat> I had uh, the mold in my, definitely it was in my muscles. And then there's a building. Um, I live on one, my office and my home are just one floor. Mm -hmm. And there's a building with the stairs that I used to go into. But then during the lockdown, I never, I didn't go to that building for like two years. And then after the lockdown was over and I could get into the building, I climbed up the stairs. It had been two years of detoxing and I could like just sprint up and my muscles worked so much better. And I realized, well, I think the, the mycotoxins in the muscles actually felt like glass, you know, mm -hmm. like there was that two year time frame of not using the stairs. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. So like, it's like, it was like sharp, like little tiny sharp pins and needle glass type feelings in my thighs. Mm -hmm. oh so anyways I, I would get random like like spasms like they were they were and I, I went through of course the whole modern medicine route and I was testing for all these autoimmune diseases and they're like dude you're fine you know and then it was it's probably anxiety you probably have an eating disorder because you won't eat grains and like yeah. you're you know that's kind of the route we were going down and then I was like and then I got to a point where I'm just like showing my family look I'll eat I'll eat the pizza if you guys really want me to so I'm eating McDonald's I'm eating everything I I wasn't like deteriorating, but I wasn't getting any better. So it was like, I'm telling you guys, it's not that it's not the lack of bread. Okay. Let me ask you this. Um, do you get uh, mucus in your stools when you go to the bathroom? What was that? Do you get mucus in your stools when you go to the bathroom? Not that I've, not that I've really noticed. Um, not a hundred percent sure. To be honest what about you. like sinuses blowing your nose a lot? Any congestion in your lungs? you know, bio um, a little bit. Yeah, I would say a little bit, but my mom a lot, like my mom definitely, um, I feel like we all have different symptoms, yeah. but it all seems like my dad has high blood pressure. My mom has sinuses and allergies. My brother has allergies and then I got all this muscle stuff. So it's like, everybody's got something, but for me, I'm, I feel like I'm the, I'm like in the worst shape out of everybody. Um, but, um, yeah. I, I think they're starting to get it. Okay, so look, I'm going to add one more pill. It's called Interfix. Okay. It's just one per day. Okay. And this breaks up the biofilm and mucus that the mold makes. So okay. you can take this like first thing in the morning when you wake up on an empty stomach. Okay. okay. And I took uh, about two and a half months ago, I was taking five a day. And I just was like exhausted and my muscles didn't work and I was worthless in the gym. And it yeah, took me yeah. a little while to figure out, oh, it's because of that supplement. So the point of this, it's an enzyme product that breaks up the, the biofilm and mucus that the, all the organisms make. And then what it does, is it actually releases more. It can help release more of the mycotoxins. Okay. Gotcha. It also like can clean the blood. You know, you're not, it's not necessarily like a binder, like the biotoxin binder. It works mm -hmm. in a different way. So just one, just one a day. That's it. And did you notice when you did that? were the symptoms kind of like you said it it wasn't like you weren't doing well in the gym after that like do you think because I was doing five five a day gotcha gotcha do you think so like I I'm in this struggle of like wanting to be active so I don't like get worse but then I'm also like not trying to break down too much muscle tissue because then my body's got to repair it and it's already seen do you think like I should just be very light at the gym should I yeah you want to go <clears throat> you want to I mean, I, I'm not going to say don't go, but I'm going to say work out to your tolerance. Okay. That's kind of what I've been doing. It's just like basically uh, mobility uh, kind of yoga type of stuff. Just more, mo yeah, just making sure my joints are not getting any worse. Um, but I've really been enjoying like now that it's getting nicer, just kind of going outside and gardening and getting some sun and stuff like that. So, yeah. Perfect. Sounds good. So well, I'll get there. I, I, I do know that as long as I'm light, my joints do feel better. Like, so as long as I, I do feel better when I go to the gym, it's just a matter of not, you know, I mean, you see, I, I see the dude next to me squatting multiple plates and I'm like, 
you know, I, I feel like sometimes you, it just, I don't know, men get competitive, I guess. Like I see, I see other guys lifting at the gym and I want to, I, I mean, you know, I'm 29. I still, I want to be able to do all this stuff too. So I, I just kind of, um, but I know I got to be slow with it too. So, I mean. Yeah. So I know like back in 2016 and I felt my worst and I didn't know I had mold. I could still work out for like literally three hours straight, you mm -hmm. know, skip breakfast, skip lunch. And then go running three miles. And then I'd test ketones at four o'clock in the afternoon. I was in ketosis. And my heart was fine the whole time, all day. And then I lay in bed at night. And then I couldn't breathe. And my heart was racing. Mm -hmm. So the thing with them, um, and then when I started to detox, I couldn't perform like that anymore. You know, the, the detoxing is quite, quite an endeavor. And it's pretty stressful, like parasympathetically rest and repair. You know, yeah. so like if you work out too hard, then you go to bed at night, your body's trying to repair the muscle tissue that you broke down in the gym. And at the same time, it's trying to detox the mold out. You can, exactly. it, can it can be overwhelming for the body. So I've, I've had people, I've had people, I've told some people to stop exercising, quit, quit even like trying to run a mile, you know, just mm -hmm. chill out. You're doing a lot of work just with the binders. Yeah, I, I've. I'm sure you're familiar with Paul Check, but he always talks about working in rather than working out. Like I, and I feel like that for me in particular, uh, just, yeah, it, it's, uh, it basically it's, talks about working in and focusing on, uh, your stress levels. And what I've noticed just from being on like Reddit forums and talking to other people that have stress, like, or that have mold is stress seems to be a big thing too with, I mean, with like any illness, but yeah, like the stress definitely doesn't help. Yeah. For sure. That that fight or flight response and the adrenals just kind of. Well, and th so there's a study in the 40s and again, in the it was repeated in the 60s. When you have this high level of toxicity in your body, it can mess up your hormones. Then mm -hmm. under stress, um, your cortisol goes up and that makes all your symptoms mm -hmm. worse again. So in the spring of 2016, I flew to Utah for a seminar. And I couldn't watch a um, a stressful, dramatic, violent movie. I could only, you know, I could only watch like a chick flick, you know. And I'm sitting, yeah, in, yeah. No. sitting in the chair in pain. And then I, you know, yeah. and I land in Utah in the desert part of Utah, and all my symptoms are gone. I'm like, okay, great, I'm oh, I'm gosh. fixed. Like I don't know what the heck, but. Yeah, no, I went to Phoenix and I felt great. Like I, I remember going to Phoenix and I, I didn't have any issues. I was, I was exercising there too. So I do, um, I know that, like, I know that the mold is there, but I also, I, I do feel like there is other lifestyle. I've been so focused on, um, I, I think I've been so focused on my diet, which is also obviously really important, and exercising and all this physical stuff. I haven't really been focusing on my mental health, which mold can totally affect your mind too. So there's like. Oh, yeah. I, I got to get that, you know, get that in order too, and just try to believe that you'll actually heal um, instead yeah, of gotta, just like believing that you're not. Yeah, you got to stay logical. You got to look at mm -hmm. your symptoms, see that you're better now than a month ago, and just know that it'll keep getting better in the future. You got to stay. I logical. was seeing a, a holistic doctor. I, I saw him briefly, um, and then uh, so he was a chiropractor, and he had mentioned uh, like testosterone replacement. And I was like, it, it sounded interesting, but then I was also like, I mean, if, if I have any autoimmune process going on, like I can maybe take a, a an anabolic, but I mean, the, my body's just going to break it down later. Like it's, if the right. rate of, yeah, if I just keep degrading like the regeneration is going to not be as fast as the degradation. Right. It's all, mo it all goes back to mold. So when I had, you know, a few years ago, my sex hormone binding globulin was way too high it was double my testosterone has been the same but the dht which causes supposedly causes hair loss that was high yeah yeah and i was losing my hair but then my last test both of those are normal and i never did any hormonal work at all it's all detoxing so yeah yeah keep that in mind for this i think that's what i gotta focus on i don't want to i don't want to start any uh, bioidentical hormone replacement therapy and and end up you know actually doing damage to myself right like prostate cancer yeah exactly so I, I i would rather be as natural as possible and it's funny because i was over here like you know i was concerned about some of the side effects that i'm getting from taking biotoxin binder or fulvic acid and then i'm like I, and then i'm over here considering trt <laughs> which right, that's going to come with its own 
There's a lot of distractions. There's a lot of things that people do. And it's like, wait, you got to focus on your main thing. Exactly. That's my lead. I've, I've already tested positive with the mold. Like That's my lead. Everything else seems to be okay. So I just got to address that and hopefully I can feel better. Yeah. All right, cool. So, yeah. um, so let's talk in, I want to say like two months. How long has it been since we last talked? Um, what do you say? Beginning March. of March? Was March it the beginning April. of March? Yeah. April, May. So it's been two months. Um, I'm going to say two to two to two and a half months for the next, next visit. Okay. That good? And then, um, what else to, to wrap this up? So I'm adding the two products, but those are like low dose. And the whole mm -hmm. thing is just keep going with the detox, go at the pace that you can handle. I think you're, I think you're thinking through this really well. Mm -hmm. So there's not much more advice I can give other than, other than just keep going. I mean, I watch your content anyway, so I keep up with you. And I, I have a friend who really is the one who introduced me to your content. And we go to the, a farm in Barrington that's it's all grass fed. And I'm doing you know, raw kidney, raw liver, you know, as much. And even my, my coworkers, they're like, you're crazy. But yeah. um, it, it's it's less crazy than you think if you talk to your grandparents. My My mom was talking about cod liver oil to her nurse. And uh, she was like, I've never heard anyone talk about that except my grandmother. All right. And this lady's in her 60s. And I was like, well, her grandma knew. Yeah. All right, cool. So, and I got my note here. I'll send an email probably later. Yes. Yeah, so you got the one pill, the Myco, the uh, tax liquid. Yes. And then, and then possibly a test. Yeah, exactly. All right, cool. All right, so cool. We'll, we'll hang Thank up you. on the video. And then I'll call Liz and she'll call you right away. And she'll say. Okay. So, all right. Yeah. Sounds good. All right, good. All right, Nick. Thanks. All right. Have a good Thanks. one. See you, man. Bye-bye.